This data sufficiency question offers quite a lot of free information and I feel like I need some kind of visual way to keep track of it. So maybe a number line would really help here. I would put the oldest on the right side of the number line and the youngest on the left side of the number line and the difference between them is 7,000 according to the free information. Now we're also told that the youngest child inherited 9,000 less than the middle child. So that puts the middle child 9,000 to the right of the youngest child, which would, I guess, be 2,000 to the right of the oldest child. So now I have all three of them visualized well on a number line, and the question itself is asking, what was the total amount of money that they inherited? And I'm thinking, well, that's going to depend on where we are in the number line. If these tick marks are closer to zero, then they didn't inherit all that much. But if these tick marks are very far away from zero, maybe they inherited millions, I don't know. But if I can figure out where we're located on the number line, then I'd be able to answer the question. Now, as I look at these statements, it seems to me that each of these statements on its own enables us to orient ourselves on the number line. We can tell exactly where we are in the number line using each of these statements on its own. I think it's probably easier to see that from statement one, since it pinpoints for us the middle child at exactly 27,000, so then we can figure out what the other two inherited, and of course we can then calculate the sum. But statement two gives us the total inherited by the youngest child and the middle child, and that's also going to depend on exactly where we are in the number line. If you think about it, once we know the total amount of money that the youngest child and middle child inherited combined, there's only one possible layout on the number line that would match that. I mean, the minute we start moving these tick marks closer to zero, that total amount that the youngest and middle child inherited together would get lower. And if you start moving the tick marks to the right on the number line, then that number would get bigger. So by giving us the exact dollar value that the youngest and middle child inherited combined, it pinpoints for us one particular layout on the number line, and therefore I'm going to say that this statement is sufficient on its own as well, and the correct answer is D. Perhaps an important takeaway here, which I go into in detail in my book, is that if you know the order of two numbers on the number line, and you know how far apart they are, and you also know the sum of those two numbers, then you can infer what those numbers are. You can infer exactly where those tick marks lie on the number line. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.